Hey y'all, this is The Butcher and I've got Blue here with me and today we are going to show how to make an add-on and we're going to do this with the Gen template add-on that Medrell created and it uses the NAN scrapers and so within uh, 15 minutes or so we will walk you through and give you the basics for setting up a playlist add-on and um, we do plan other videos but this is a basic kind of get you up and running. Uh, the first place that you can see here is I have us on uh, Medrail's GitHub, and you will see this is, I will post this in the show notes, so you'll have the um, URL, and we would go right here to clone or download it, and we would download the zip. I already have it, so that would be your very first step. Um, thank you, Blue, for helping show, show me how to do this. No problem. Okay, so we're going to go ahead, and I, uh, what, are the, what are the, all the things we need? Okay, so in order to get started before you even watch the rest of the video, what you should do is grab Jen, obviously. You're going to need a an icon, um, and what basically the size you want for that is a 512 by 512, and you're going to name it icon, all lowercase, dot PNG. You're also going to want a fan art, and you're going to call that fanart.jpg. Now, make sure that's lowercase as well, and usually you find something nice off of Google and go size-wise 1920 by 1080. Um, you're also going to need a an ed editing program like Notepad++ or Sublime. And you're going to have to have some place to store your XMLs. So um, when you make your main XML that your add-on is going to link to, it has to be hosted somewhere. So Todd has his own. So for today, what we're going to do is we're going to run through everything else. Okay. Yep. And the, uh, the, the information that for – if you can see, this is what's in the zip file, and you'll see he has some readme files in there. And they will show you also how to create um, XMLs in the format, correct? Yeah, exactly. Okay, so we I downloaded this, so I'm going to go to my folder, and that's where I have this already. Yep, your fan art and your icon, perfect. Yep. Yeah. One of the things. One of the things before we get started. Do you see how mine is called JPEG? Should I change that to? I, I I'm not a hundred percent, but I would just to be safe. JPG. It's not a. Good to go? Yeah. So now you're going to want to extract the gen zip. Extracted here, and I'm using uh, like a Renoir. Win our program, tell it to extract here. Boom, there we go. All right. Okay, so first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to open that folder. All right. You want to open up? Oh, actually, you know what? Before we do open anything, slide your your two um, your fan art and your icon into that folder. I'm gonna copy these. Yep, right in there. Perfect. So first of all, open up the add-on XML. And I'm using Notepad++. Notepad++. Uh, it's a free thing. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Okay. So first of all, what you want to do is you want to change the add-on ID. Now it's plugin.video.gen.next. And this doesn't have to be the full name of your add-on. It can be a part of your add-on. For example, mine's called House of Blue, but my add-on ID is plugin.video.blue. So change the gen next to whatever you want. Okay, done it. Okay, next you're going to change the name. And this is the name that everybody sees. Right? Exactly, it, yeah. So I will use a capital because that will – and you can do capitals and I can – uh, I can even call it epic stuff. I'm just going to call it that, and you'll see how it's going to be a little bit different um, from the actual plugin name. Okay. For now, just leave the uh, version number alone, and in the provider name, uh, put whoever's made it. So I keep mid in mine and put my name. So put whoever you want in there. All right. All right, next go down to where it says provides, where it says audio and video. Line 15 right here. 
Yep. Now, if you have music in yours, you can, you want to keep it as an audio. If you're putting movies or TV shows, it'll be video. You can also have it as programs, but uh, and I'm not sure. It's not called programs, though. But anyway, for today's episode, what we're going to do is just call it video. So take the audio right out. And this is this will this puts it in which group? Like when you do an add-on search, and there's different. There's video and there's audio. This and there's this programs. Tells, yeah. Right. Exactly. This tells you where to put it. Yeah, it'll only be in video. You won't be able to find it in music. Okay. Okay, so now you're going to want to change the summary in the description. Okay. You can do the description too or no? Yeah. And... Um, also, yeah, you can have a forum or a website. We're just going to leave it with noobs and nerds for now, though. All right. So, yeah, you, again, that's, that's lines 22, 23, changing um, forum and website information. Okay. Okay. Now, if you copy the plugin.video.epic. Copy. All right. Yep. Now, save this and close it. Save. Close. There we go. Now, what we're going to do is back out one, like go up one level, and we're going to change the name of that. Just if you know, another fast way of doing it on Windows, Todd, is you click it and then you click it again. There we go. And then just hit Control V, paste it in. So now you've changed the name of your add on. Okay, so go back in. And next, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the default pie. Right here. And I'm using Notepad++ plus plus to open. Yeah. Now, around, uh, should be line 24. It'll say root underscore XML underscore URL. Between yep. the quotes, what you want to do is that's where you're going to post the URL for your main XML. All right. So um, for me, you can open up this. I have mine on my server, and this is just a test thing, so it won't be there long. But what I, what, whoops. I'm able to right click on it, and I'm able to copy my link location. If you know the location manually, you can type this in, but I'm just copying the link location. Yeah, it makes it a lot easier. And I'm, it's highlighted right there, so then I paste. Okay, so it put in HTTP colon forward slash forward slash the butcher dot org test main dot XML. All right. Yep. Now here's also where you'll put your API keys if you have them, which you need for your meta. Okay. So, so it's a good idea is, to get one. I know Todd has a video on how to get one for the movie database. So. Yep. Yep. So you can get those, and then you would put that key in in the yep. in between the two quotation marks. There. Yeah. And now, now once that's done, you save that and close it because you're done with that one. Perfect. All right. so back and we're going to go to um, resources. Resources. Language. Language. English. English. And open the strings poll. Uh, using Notepad. Here we go. And what you're going to want to do is change the top three lines. And then, hey, Unleashed is spelled wrong. All right, then. Okay, and Provider. Okay, all right. Now, on a side note, this is where you'll find all your messages or majority of your messages inside your add-on, like um, no link available or anything like that at a later date. It's a good idea to scroll through here in case you want to change what pe what the pop-ups say. And you can also add color to them in here. Okay, so with that done, Todd, you can just save that and close it. So okay. next, go back out to the resources folder. Okay. And we're going to open the settings XML. Here we go. Now, this is when um, when you go into your settings, you're going to see this. Um, sometimes there's an issue with, um, I find on some of the 17, some of the skins don't have settings 
So, so it's impossible to get into your settings without it. So what I like to do is I like to change that myself right in here. Now, um, Todd, you see the line where it says um, something about enabling settings in context? Enabling, that's line five. And at the end, it says false. That means it's not enabled. What I do is I set that to true. Make sure it's all lowercase. Got it. One below it, which is for the tra having the trailer in context, I think that's always a good one too. So I change that to true as well. Okay. Now in here, wherever you see where it's running the plugin, you'll notice that the plugin name is wrong. The plugin says um, plugin.video.gen.next. You need to change that gen.next to the name of your add-on. So in Todd's case, change that to epic. So do a mass replace because I believe there's four of them in here. Okay, so what I've done is I've highlighted it, and with uh, Notepad++, it's Control H opens that. It's a little short, and it plugs already plugs in the Gen Next, and right here I have where I wanted to call it, and then I'm going to hit replace all. Now you can replace one at a time, but I'm going to tell it that I want to replace all. Yeah, and it right here at the bottom. Once it did that, it says replaced all, which is four places on this XML that it replaced. Epic, uh, it re Epic replaced Gen dot next, or uh, it'd be Gen whatever, whichever one. So yeah, that's been replaced. And okay. Now, did you want to set link selection as the default instead of HDSD, or do you want to just leave it alone? Um, let's do the selection. The okay. So what we need to do is under scraper settings. You'll see use link dialog. Uh, number 30, link, uh, line 32 right here. Use link dialog, label, da 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 da. And at Change the, end, the default to true. To true. Then you're going to save that to settings and you're going to close it. There's a lot more you can do in here, but for the sake what? of this video, right. we're just going to show you the basics the, to it. And this is just basically a way of setting up the default. Yeah, that's your, that's your settings right there, okay. that, that file. Right. So do I save it? You can close it. We're done with that. Okay, so basically, that's it. You've now made a gen add-on. So what you need to do is you need to go up a level, and you need to zip that up. And what you want to do is you want to change, you want to add the version number in the file, like in the, in the name. So always make sure that the zip number and the is the same number that you have in your add-on XML. So if you update your, your gen and you, in your add-on XML, you update it and you make it 1.0.13, when you re-zip it, make sure your zip number's right. Okay, so this one was one. And, yeah, one, dash, two. make sure you put a yeah. dash, and then it's yeah. 1.0.12 zip. I'm gonna hit here for zip, because you don't want it to be a RAR, it needs to be a, a dot zip. Hit okay, now you can see we have the plug-in video. Yep. Epic. Now it's ready to go in Cody. Okay, so since I don't have a repo, we're not, well, I'm not gonna go through a repo action. You can go through repo and that has to be at a later date. And if you have a repo, you, you understand how to do that. But, so I'm just gonna install it this way. So I have Cody open over here. So on, let's see. All right, and then I'm gonna install from a zip. For me, I'm gonna find it where I have it on my computer. Um, and just to interrupt for one second, um, in the event that you, okay, you guys have never used Bob or you've never used Elysium, you you will need to have the um, Noobs and Nerds repo installed because some of the dependencies come from it. Now, if you already have Bob and you already have Elysium, you already have Noobs and Nerds, which Todd has, so he's going to install now. He doesn't need to install that repo. Okay. Probably good, eh? All right, down there I see that it says it's installed. And we need to go to video add-ons because we said that it was only gonna be a video add-on. Right there, okay. So we see we it's called Epic Stuff. Um, and I think it's because I called it Epic Stuff. Yeah, I did call it Epic Stuff just to to uh, to get, make the night the title and you can call it whatever you long as long as anything you want but you see over here on the right under the ID the add-on ID it does say plugin.video.epic and then where where I says I'm a noob dev 
I put that over there. Um, called it a new yeah. video, I think. That's all the stuff from your add-on XML. Yep, that's the stuff I put in there. So, all right. So let's try to open her. It's enabled. All right, there we go. Now this is uh, this is linked to the the XML that I had on uh, my server, and yeah. it's linked to other XMLs where uh, Blue was able to his showing where where these have are some of the options for um, some of the other XMLs. So so I'm just going to go to the blockbuster that you have set up. Here we go. All right, let's go try Spider Man. You think? Sure. So this is just to show you guys that um, it works right off the hop, uh, thanks to Nan scrapers. Yep. Now, and we could probably show later when we're talking about XMLs, you can actually create direct links. So if you wanted to have direct links, you can uh, put those in there. And, and what will happen too is when you do a direct link, um, the XMLs that that you have now will have an HD, like a, you'll have a search and a search SD. And that's an HD links in NAN scrapers and SD links in NAN scrapers. This is link selection, so it's a little different. But when you add an extra sublink, like a direct link to it, what'll happen is you'll get a pop-up that'll just have the one link and then it'll say search. So when you click the search, then it'll bring you to this, this uh, dialog right here with all the stuff. But if you don't put a, a a, like a third link in, like if you don't put a direct link in, it'll automatically pop up the link selection for you. So here we go. I'm just going to take a shot. And you never know with these things. Look at epic stuff is looking, processing the link. And there you go. Boom. Fully functioning add on within minutes. Simple, simple, simple. And again, the, the, the hardest work of this is going to be to create your XMLs and yeah. all of your content. Um, and for those of you that are picky, sometimes the artwork, the icon and the fan art will take you a while to find something you like. But that's all there is to it, guys. Yeah. And um, Todd and I are going to be making some more videos. Um, we'll make one on how to do a playlist for those of you that don't know. Um, Mid has put the exact what you need to how to build the XML in the README file inside the gen folder so you can find it in there. And um, in the not too distant future, what we're going to do is um, show you how to make a search database so that people will be able to do searches in your add on to find movies you're looking for. That's about it. Um, we've done it pretty good. Uh, hopefully, this makes sense to you. We'll try to do some videos. Uh, going forward to be more advanced, uh, like the search feature, um, adding some of that or adding some of the other features that you may want to add later. Uh, but uh, we thought this would be a good start off to kind of get you where you're, where you're at to figure out uh, how to get going on it. Then you can create your XMLs. And I want to thank uh, all the NAN team. I want to thank uh, all of the, the NAN scraper team. Uh, there's yeah. a group of people working on those scrapers. Yeah like to thank them because that's what makes this so easy. We yeah, could do exactly. direct we could do direct links but doing it with through the scrapers is so much easier. Um, so that uh, thanks to them. Thanks for mid to trying to create a template that anybody can create a playlist add-on and um, can Yeah, within minutes. Yeah, to be part starting to create something and put it out there um, something to to give back and make it easy. And again, all of his readmes and his comments in the in the files tell you what you need to do. Um, so thanks to them. And we would like to really there is a secret surprise that Mid's going to release here in the, the next coming future um, about a surprise with Jen. So we're looking forward to as many people as possible making a Jen add-on and to see if we can take this to the next level. So. Uh, Anything else that uh, that you got, Boop? Nope. Good to go. Good job, buddy. Okay. All right, y'all. I'd like to uh, thank everybody for watching, and hopefully this makes sense to you, and uh, we'll talk to y'all later.